Hello friends, today I'm going to teach you about radioactivity. This is a subtopic of nuclear physics and you know this topic is very hot all over the news today. So what is this radioactivity? And why do they happen? How can we use them? And how they can be dangerous sometimes? These are the things that we will be studying in this video. So keep your finger crossed. So before we start, we need to have a look at the atomic structure. And at this point, I will assume that you already know about the basic of atomic structure from your chemistry course. So if we look into an atom, what we have inside an atom. We have a centrally placed nucleus and we have electrons revolving all around it, right? In different orbits, like this. So we have negatively charged electrons revolving around the nucleus in different orbits, right? and inside the nucleus we have protons and neutrons say these green ones are protons and we also have neutrons which are neutral right so this is what an atom would look like. So the blue ones are neutral neutrons and the green ones are protons which are positively charged. Now as we know from our study of electrostatistics that light charges repel so how can the protons which are positively charged are held together? They are supposed to explode because each of the protons will repel each other, right? But how come they're still together as we see inside the nucleus? Well, the answer lies in the fact that inside the nucleus we have something that is called nuclear force. This is a very strong force which binds together the protons and this is a very short range force now sometimes if we ha if the number of neutrons is too large or if it's too small then the nucleus becomes unstable that means it has some excess energy so it would try to release those extra energy and become relatively more stable. Some atoms are unstable and they try to become more stable by breaking up the nucleus. The nucleus release those extra energy in the form of electromagnetic wave or particles. This process of losing extra energy and become relatively more stable is called radioactivity. All the elements we have will not be radioactive. There are only some of them that are unstable and gives radiations all around. They are called radioactive elements. Before going on further, let me complete the picture. So as I was discussing the atomic structure before, so these red ones were electrons the green ones are positively charged protons you must already know these things from chemistry and finally the blue ones are called neutrons.
So as I was saying, in some elements, because of the imbalance of the number of protons and the number of neutrons, the nucleus become unstable. So they release some extra energy in the form of wave or particles which are called radiations and this process is called radioactivity. Now that the intro part is over, we will try to look at radioactivity more technically. So now let us try to define radioactivity first. So we can say that radioactivity or radioactive decay is the spontaneous process in which an unstable atomic nucleus loses energy by emitting radiation in the form of electromagnetic waves or particles. What it generally means is that say we have a So, say that we have an uh, unstable nucleus. Where is the ink? Okay. Uh, there's some problem. Hang on. Now, uh, let us say that we have an uh, unstable nucleus. Say so this, uh, this is an unstable nucleus. Now, it will give out some kind of radiations. We'll be talking about the types of radiations later, but it will be giving out some kind of radiations all around. So these are radiations. And in the process, it will become relatively more stable so after the radiation has been given out it will become something that will be more stable now the second state which is more stable might not be enough stable as well the process might continue like this in a chain reaction or so. What I mean is that we might have another process of radiation and we might have another nucleus which is more stable than the one it was before. I mean is say this is A, this is B and this is C. So A was an unstable nucleus so it gave out some radiation. After that, A lost some excess energy and became something which we can call B. So B is more stable compared to A. Now, if, even if B is not that stable, what's going to happen? Again, it will be giving out some radiation. Right? and by losing some more energy B will get converted to C which will be more stable than B and this process will continue until stability is reached in some kind of chain reaction so here let us write more stable than A and here we have uh, more stable than B, right? So, C is the most stable one and A is the unstable one. Irrespective of the type of radiation that occur, radioactivity generally means there will be an 
unstable nucleus and it will lose energy in the form of radiation to become something that is more stable. Now let us go through this definition again. We say radioactivity or radioactive decay is the process Oh, it is a spontaneous process. A word is missing here. Wait. So here we should have spontaneous process. It's a key word in this definition. Spontaneous. So this is a spont spontaneous process. So why is it sp spontaneous? Say, for example, we have a sample which is radioactive. We can think of that as containing a number of nuclei. These are all radioactive, so they are unstable and they are going to lose energy in the form of radiations to gain stability, right? That's what we have learned so far. So these are all unstable nuclei. So we will have radiation coming out of it. And we say that this process is spontaneous. What we mean by that is that we cannot say exactly which one which one of the nuclei is going to decay. And when will it decay? So that is why it is spontaneous and it is a very random process. We cannot say we cannot say which one among here is going to decay and when. That is why radioactivity is called a spontaneous process. So this is it for the introduction about radioactivity. In the next section, we will look at the different types of radiations we have. And as I have mentioned, the process of a nucleus breaking up into something else is called radioactive decay. You see, a nucleus is bringing up, that means it decays. And it might decay by various means. We'll be studying them in the next section.